Hi, happy to see you in a channel on universal maths. In this video, we'll take a look at this interesting problem. But before starting, pause the video, try it yourself, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. So let's get started. We have to find out x here, and all that we have to do is to know the summaries of two triangles, and of course, we have to know some secrets that we have to draw line segments and add up the line segments here let me first of all draw three line segments these are three line segments that we need and let me mark here as f and g and now we can use the similarities of two triangles but before doing this we have to know that if these two angles will be alpha and alpha this is a detector and this angle will be also alpha the adjacent angles are equal so now we know that these two sides will be equal and if this will be d this will also d and let me put here some b here c they are not equal and here dA will be equal to 9 minus d, and now we can we can use the similarities of two triangles for the triangles for the B triangle and the triangle AF. So the first equation is the side BF B plus 9 for the side the small side B will be equal to x over 6. Here we can find out b in terms of x and it will be equal to 54. You can find out yourself x minus 6. And of course, b cannot be 0 here. And the second equation is, is the for the triangles GFE and FAD. Here b plus 9 minus d or b will be equal to d over 6 and now we can find out here b in terms of d and it will be equal to 6b plus 54 minus 6d will be equal to bd and here b will be equal to 6d minus 54 over 6 minus d yeah and now we can equal these two expressions so we can get that 54 over x minus 6 will be equal to 6d minus 54 over 6 minus d by doing cross multiplication we can find out it and now we can divide both sides by 6 and we can get the 9 over x minus 6 will be equal to t minus 9 over 6 minus d. 54, by doing cross multiplication now, we can get 54 minus 9d will be equal to xd minus 9x minus 6d plus 54. And 54 and 54 can cancel, and at the end we can get that. D will be equal to here. D will be equal to 9x over x plus 3. Yeah. Now doing the same thing for the triangles for the same triangles, but with other sides, we can get the D in in terms of x again. So, first triangle, BCF, the big triangle, and the small triangle, ADF. So here, the sides, the right sides, C, let me do it here, C plus 4A, the big side of C, and the small side of T is C. Over C will be equal to X over 6 again. here 
4 times a over c will be equal to x minus 1 over 6, uh, x minus 6 over 6, x minus 6 over 6. Here, again, with the triangles D, E, F, and A, D, F, we can find out these. So, C plus A over C, and it will be equal to D over 6. And here, A over C will be equal to D minus 6 over 6. And now we can plug into a or C is A or C this expression the D minus 6 over 6 so 4 times this D minus 6 over 6 will be equal to X minus 6 over 6 6 and 6 we can cancel and 4 D minus 24 will be equal to X minus 6 here D will be equal to X plus 18 over 4. We now have d in terms of x two times and we can now equal them so that we can find out x. 9x over here x plus 3 will be equal to this expression. So x plus 18 over 4. By doing cross multiplication we can find out that x squared minus 15x plus 54 will be equal to 0 and x1 will be equal to 9 x2 will be equal to 6 so now we have two answers but which is correct which is not we can now go back to this triangle and we can see ad's height is equal to 6 here so we can see that BC X cannot be equal to 6. So we can cross it out. So our answer is, is 9. If you like this solution, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Thank you for your attention. See you soon in the next videos.